Let's head back out to the audience. Another question. Please tell us your name first and then fire away. Hi, I'm, I'm Stacy, and uh, I guess firstly, congratulations on being so handsome, fellas. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, and secondly, what's, uh, what's your favorite song to play live? It kind of depends on the night. Sometimes you have a certain night and certain songs feel more on fire than other songs. Um, I don't know. Is it always an, is it maybe a new song? I know, I mean, you got, uh, you know, a great catalog to rely on, but because it's new and it's all ex kind of exciting and new stuff, is it sometimes the new stuff? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's really hard. I mean, you I, okay, yeah, I mean, I, I am a little biased to Please Don't Go Girl because I, it's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of, you know, memories attached to it and, and, um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different. Let's head back out to the crowd there. I know we have another question out there from somebody. Tell us your name. Hi, I'm Shalini, and my question's for Danny, actually. Uh, we're thinking back to the breakdancing days and wanted to know if you still have the moves, and uh, if so, if you care to show us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta have on the proper gear to oh. show you. I got on boots and jeans. I, I brought some cardboard, man. I got my cardboard right... Yeah, and it's a rug here, but <laughs> I've done it on tour since we've gotten back together, and maybe I'll do it on this next tour, but that was, that was my first, like, kind of introduction to performing, was learning to break dance, and me and Jordan actually would battle against each other. He was in, like, a different crew than me, and uh, it's kind of how we got to know each other. This was even before the group. Yeah. And then the group formed, and you know it was kind of weird being in the same group with him in the like, beginning. Like, yo, you supposed to be in another crew, man? <laughs> How you in my crew? Then we, then they we hugged, and yeah, it was good. It from that. Yeah, I'm they had to put their switch combs away. And <laughs> 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 no, but I, I think that's a good story. You learn a lot, you know, over the years. But didn't you say that? Well, Donnie asked you to be in the group, and you're like, I don't know. And then when you found out Jordan from the other crew was in it, you were like, wait a minute. No, no, I found out John was in the group. Oh. <laughs> because I didn't know much about John, okay. so I knew more about Jordan. And Donnie and said, like, no, Donnie said, John's auditioning. And he said, you should come. And, like, and I was like, all right, I'll come. Nice. I wasn't really into it in the beginning, but thank God. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it is, it is it's quite incredible when you... The kids at that age aren't thinking about the rest of their lives. They're not thinking about careers. You're not thinking about, uh, um, you know, being on tour and having families and doing that and have bringing children into the lives of showbiz and doing all of that stuff. When you sign on, you say, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go have some fun, right? But uh, you guys have done that. You, you unwittingly at that time s kind of made a, a big life-affecting choice, didn't you? That's true. This yeah. is true. I, actually, when I when I first auditioned and and um, Maurice, our producer, then he was like, "Yeah, man, you're cool. You can, yeah, you could be in the group or whatever." And then I went home and told my mom. I was like, "Yeah, ma," I said, he said I could be in the group, but um, I don't know. I don't really. I'm not really. I don't know if I want to be famous or even try to be that kind of thing. And she was like. Boy, you know, <laughs> no. she 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 convinced me to to stick with it. And she said, "I I think this is something good for you." Um, why do you know. why do you think she did? Why why was she supportive of that? I just think she she thought it was something positive, and yeah. it was something that I had inside of me. You know, I I was singing since I was really little, and she knew that you know it was what I should be doing. And um, instead of messing around on the street or do, doing whatever I, she thought it was a it was a good positive path so she really uh pushed me in the direction talking to people who've been fans of yours forever i know that your folks were all you know big parts of uh, they got to know 
your folks. Your mom, of course, you've got the great foundation in her memory. Was it always universal acceptance and support across the board from everybody in your family? Not yeah. so much for me, really? <laughs> honestly, because I had a four-year scholarship to Boston University at the time for academics. And I remember when I was leaving, my dad telling me, um, you're never going to make it. I, I don't think I've ever told that story. Mm. But why I'm telling it is because my dad was a very strict parent, and um, he really... I learned from him now, like now I admire him because I've seen him change over the years. And he's still like one of the parents that goes on our cruise every year is like, he's like the ambassador for the group. He's like, <laughs> oh, he's socializing. And he later on after a few years came back and told me, you know, I was wrong. You know, I'm really proud of you. And to this day, every time I talk to him, he's like, I'm so proud of you. And it's just proof that people can change even in a, the later stages of their lives. And I'm sure now as a parent, you can understand his hesitation, right? I mean, if you have kids. If my son came to me and said, Dad, I want to go to college and work really hard and get great grades, uh, would I accept that or would I accept, Dad, uh, I'm joining a rock band and I'm going to be famous. You know, I'd be more like, maybe you should do the college thing, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's such a, a long shot, really. You know so you I mean? get where your dad was coming from with that. He was just looking out for you. Yeah, I mean, I have a son that's, he's a musician, and he just got accepted into uh, Berkeley in Boston. Congratulations, wow. Yeah, yeah, but he knows, like, I've told him, like, we're like the lottery ticket, and we've won the lottery twice. So it's very, <laughs> very rare. So you stand no chance. No, no, I don't <laughs> say that. I back him up. I've paid for his guitar lessons over all the years, and I support him, but I just tell him, you know, you got to keep, the plan A is, you know, your academics, and the plan B is the music. And you got to do it because you love it. You know what I mean? You got to... Got to be all in, baby. You got you to gotta do it because you love to do it. You know what I mean? And